Hi friends, welcome to distributed computing system. Now we will move to the next topic that is a clock events and process stats. If we consider a distributed computing system, so many computers are connected with each other. Each computer may have a n number of processes with it and individual process from one computer to the other computers communicate with each other. Let us take a P1 and P2 of different computers. P1 is a process in a one computer interacts with the P2 process in other computers. Like that <coughs> the processes different processes in a different computers we will consider them as a collection. So the collection Xi represent the different processes the collection of different processes in the distributed computing system that is a process PI. PI tends to I represent starting from 1 to n. So Xi is a collection of P1, P2, P3 up to n. So in a each process run on a single processor which is not sharing the memory with each other Min means individual process runs in a individual computers. <coughs> SI is the state of a PI process means SI stands for if if a process in a one state which is transforming other states in some events occurs right p1 communicate to the p2 through the network by using the messages so p1 which is having the process in a computer can have a variables with it can have a files with it at instance of time if it is running then the files and variables are going to change then we will say it as a state is change of a process individual process pi execute it takes a series of actions means one action in the sense that if one state changes to the other states then the actions happens there message send or receivers <coughs> changes pi states that is a si event on a process represent uh, some actions happens there represents the event occurred there Communication actions are a state transformation actions. Sequence of events occurred within a single process PI. How to represent that is a changes the states with the I. E tends to I of a E dash represents means if and only if event E occurs before E dash at a PI means whenever the events occurs one events occurs first later on second events occurs right in the sense that this that is a sequencing of the events occurred we will call that is a ordering of the events first events occurs later on second events occurs represent they may be dependent on one another or they may be independent but the ordering is maintained there <coughs> history of pi what do you mean by history of pi series of events within the pi represents the history of a pi history of a pi represent is equal to hi is equal to ei of 0 ei of 1 ei of 2 tends to up to n represent 0th event 1th event 2th event up to up to nth events occurs there next clocks clocks are very important in a distributed computing system there may be a clocks with the individual computer or there may be the clocks with the servers or there may be a clocks with a universal like that uh, uh, the UTC like okay now we will consider what do you mean by clocks how we can set the clocks here if we want to how to order the events at the process that is done with the clock right if a PI existed which is associated with the files which is associated with the variables which is associated with the state of a PI which is associated with the events occurred there physical clock what do you mean by physical clock physical clock is a clock existed with each computer or each electronic devices that counts oscillation occurring in the crystal of a definite frequency devices these counts and stores in the counter register interrupts at regular intervals means they are regularly changing the, that's value though values are stored in a 
account register like that is maintained in a each computer operating system reads nodes hardware clock that is a hi of t scales it and adds an offset to produce a software clock right hardware clock represent that is that is generated by the computer oscillation of the frequency software part or the software clock is represent offset adding to the hardware clock which is generating the software that is a CIFT is equal to alpha of HIFT plus beta beta is nothing the offset you are adding to that that is approximately equal to or the measure with a real physical time T for the process PI next topic clock skew and clocks drift we know that each computer is associated with the clock associated and many times we can pass the clock values from one computer to the other computer by considering in a central manner so in the in a diagram two computers receive a clock value which is which is given at a at a point of time so first computer is a cl1 clock one second computer is a cl clock two now what do you mean by skew skew clock skew the instantaneous difference between the reading of any two clocks in a skew represent clock one in the computer one which reads a little bit amount of a time first considering by the clock two represent the clock two which is given to the second computer is the same value as that of the clock but it reads that clock in a little bit of a delay time that's a difference occurs between the clock occurs in a two different computers with the same value that is a clock skew skew represent some variation associated then what do you mean by drift which means they count time at different rates underlying oscillations are subjected to physical variation frequencies of oscillation differ differs represent individual computer individual computer which reading the clock in a different time means there is a variation of reading the clock means which is not a which is not equal to the universal clock right so the computer it is a hardware associated matter where drift occurs the rate of reading of the clock in a each computer is varying there so that is a drift rate we will call drift rate represent the rate changing changing the value of the reading in the uh, of the clock in the computers is a drift rate that drift rate represent 10 10 raised to minus 7 or to the 10 raised to minus 8 which is a varying means one second with that 10 raised to minus 7 value will be the drift rate means that much of a uh, variations occurs when the individual computers is reading the clock we will move to the next topic that is a coordinated universal time what do you mean by coordinated universal time represents we know that each computer which is having the time which varies or say differs with the other computer means there is no exact time maintained from computer to the computer then what we have to do so we have to maintain the perfect time that is nothing but coordinated universal time that is a utc computer clocks can be synchronized to external source of highly accurate time represent it is highly accurate time which is used to synchronize with the computers the time is maintained universal then that is propagated to the each and every computers there it will be synchronized automatic atomic oscillation or say uh, oscillator drift rate is a 10 raised to 13 of a one part represent utc or say coordinated universal time which is using atomic oscillation oscillation or say oscillator for maintaining the perfect time then how can we say it is a perfect time only the one part of a 10 raised to 13 will vary 
of this atomic oscillation UTC is an international standard for timekeeping it is an international standard which is maintained user uses atomic based time I, I told it already right it which is using atomic based time or say to maintain the timing perfectly they are using a atomic technology so satellites through communication represents the whatever the UTC is maintained at the at the international level that is communicating to the each and each and every users by using a satellite communication right the time is transferred the standard tra time is tra transferred from universal or say from international to the local computers that we will call it as again a GMT like which is maintained in each and every mobiles thank you for watching